Hi guys, Cliff Olson, Doctor of Audiology and founder of Applied Hearing Solutions in Phoenix, Arizona. And in this video, I'm going to show you everything you need to know about cleaning your hearing aids so you can keep them in tip-top shape for years to come. Coming up. One of the most searched hearing aid video topics on YouTube is how to clean your hearing aids. Because let's face it, hearing aids can get extremely dirty. I mean, think about it. You require your hearing aids to function anywhere between 10 and 16 hours a day, 365 days a year for several years, which means that you accumulate tens of thousands of hours of usage time with those hearing aids, and they have to function even while living in a very harsh environment inside and behind your ears. Not even your smartphone gets abused that bad and you even replace your smartphone more often than you replace your hearing aids. So it only makes sense to ensure that you understand exactly which parts of your hearing aids that you need to clean and how often to make sure that they continue to function for years to come. But before I show you everything that you need to know about cleaning your hearing aids, if you could do me a huge favor and click the like button, it really helps out my channel because it gets these videos in front of a bigger audience who really needs to see this content. And while you're at it, if you have not yet hit that subscribe button with notification bell, Go ahead and do that as well because that ensures that you never miss one of my newly released videos and I release multiple new videos every single week. And a huge shout out to today's sponsor Oticon, but more on them in a little bit. When it comes to cleaning your hearing aids, I am a much bigger fan of being preventative rather than reactive. So you should be cleaning your hearing aids every one to two weeks whether you think they need to be cleaned or not. Since most hearing aids worn today are a receiver in canal style device, in this video I'm going to spend my time working with the Oticon More Mini Right T non-rechargeable hearing aid. Just keep in mind that no matter what brand of hearing aids you use, the steps that I will give you in this video will still apply. There are three main areas that you're going to want to focus on when cleaning a receiver and canal hearing aid. The first area is the dome or custom ear mold that goes inside of your ear, and this includes the ear mold vent if you use an ear mold. The second thing you're going to want to focus on is the receiver, otherwise known as the speaker of the hearing aid. This is what actually puts sound into your ear. And number three are the microphone ports where sound enters the hearing aid. Let's get started by cleaning a rubber dome and custom ear mold. Since the dome is the portion of a hearing aid that makes the most contact with your ear canal, it is likely to build up a significant amount of earwax. You can easily clean the dome by wiping it with a clean tissue or cloth for larger pieces of earwax, or you can just replace the dome altogether. If you have a custom ear mold like the Oticon Micro Shell or Power Mold, you can also safely use a clean cloth to wipe off any earwax buildup. You will also want to make sure that the ear mold vent remains free and clear of debris by running either a cleaning brush or nano cleaner from the back side of the vent through the front of the vent. Next, I need to show you how to change the wax traps on the tips of the receivers. Now, just like the name suggests, the wax trap will prevent earwax from getting into the receiver and causing permanent damage. And just so you know, earwax clogging up the wax trap is the number one reason why your hearing aids will stop working. Wax traps are not cleaned. They are removed and replaced with a brand new one, which means that you have to have the compatible wax trap that you can get from your hearing care professional because there are a variety of different brands of hearing aids that all use different sizes and shapes. If your hearing aids ever stop working, the first thing that you should do is actually change these wax traps. So let me go ahead and show you how to do it. To change your wax trap, you will need to remove the rubber dome from the tip of your receiver first. Next, you will want to remove a new wax trap tool from the sleeve that contains a new wax trap. Use the removal side to take out the old dirty wax trap and replace it with the new wax trap on the opposite side of the tool. Then you can just throw away the used tool and the dirty wax trap that is attached to it. If you have a custom ear mold, the wax trap will be exposed already at the tip of the receiver port. The next thing that we need to clean are the microphone ports on the body of the hearing aid. Now most receiver and canal hearing aids have multiple microphone ports. In the case of the Oticon More Mini Right T, there are three microphone ports. 
Microphone ports are where sound actually enters into the hearing aid. So if you have these microphone ports plugged up with dead skin cells, dander, or just dust that's floating around in the air, it's going to prevent the sound from entering the hearing aid, which means there'll be nothing to amplify. A dead giveaway that your microphone ports are clogged is if you can actually hear the startup jingle of your hearing aids or hear stream sound coming from your phone, but you actually brush your fingers on top of your ears and you don't hear anything. You should clean these microphones with a soft bristle brush every one to two weeks, typically in the morning because the debris will be drier and it will flake off much easier. And just take your brush and brush this debris away from the microphones being pretty gentle. Like I mentioned before, the Oticon More hearing aids have three of these microphone ports that all need to be cleaned. You have two towards the front where the receiver wire exits the hearing aid and one towards the back of the hearing aid just above the push buttons. If you see a bunch of debris fly out of your hearing aid microphones when you brush them, you need to brush them more often. When you see your hearing care professional for a detailed cleaning, they will suction out any remaining debris with a pin suction vacuum. Of course, if you use a disposable battery hearing aid like the Oticon More Mini Right T, you can also brush out the battery compartment very gently to ensure that no debris blocks the hearing aid battery contacts. If you're consistent with cleaning these three parts of your hearing aids, then your devices should be able to function properly in between your regularly scheduled professional cleaning visits. Now, Oticon, today's video sponsor, also has a variety of different cleaning videos on their website that I will go ahead and link in the description. As for their hearing aids' ability to withstand the rigors of daily use, Oticon has some of the most durable hearing aids currently available on the market due to the amount of testing that is done on their devices. Not only are all of the Oticon More and Zircon hearing aid models IP68 rated, which is the highest rating that can be attained for debris and moisture resistance in a hearing aid, but they are also durability tested repeatedly to ensure that they can withstand the test of time. If by some chance your Oticon hearing aids ever stop working, you can easily take them back to your hearing care professional to have them fix it in their office, and if they can't fix it in the office, they can always send it into Oticon for you to get your devices repaired. Not to mention, all new Oticon hearing aids come with a manufacturer warranty as well as loss and damage insurance, so you're covered if anything ever happens to your Oticon hearing aids or if you happen to lose them entirely. At the end of the day, regularly cleaning your hearing aids will not only improve how good your hearing aids sound in the short term, but it can also extend the life of your devices because you're not having to constantly replace damaged components caused by buildup of debris. So do yourself a favor, make sure that you're cleaning your hearing aids every one to two weeks and and go in to receive professional cleaning at least a few times a year so you can get the maximum amount of benefit from your devices. That's it for this video. If you have any questions, leave them in the comment section below. If you liked the video, please share it. If you want to see other videos just like this one, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Also, feel free to check out my new website, hearingup.com.